Now, when, when you look at brain, especially human brain, the cerebral hemispheres, two cerebral hemispheres are huge. They are so huge that they mask other structures, they cover other structures. You don't see it unless you upturn it, then you can see. So the largest structure of the brain is the cerebral hemisphere. Two cerebral hemispheres collectively called cerebrum. The second largest structure is a part of the hindbrain called cerebellum. Cerebrum or the cerebral hemispheres are the seat of our intelligence. And through cerebellum we coordinate, we keep balance. Okay. I mean, of course, with the internal ear we, we balance that uh, uh, the semicircular canals, as you will learn later on semicircular canals and uh, the vestibule, uh, we, we balance. That's a special sense, okay? Um, look here, the cerebral hemisphere, I mean the different regions of cerebral hemisphere can be easily known, and they are known by the, the bone they are close to, like frontal lobe, parietal lobe, temporal lobe, occipital lobe. Corresponding to the frontal bone, parietal bone, temporal bone, and occipital bone. Okay? Can you see the the numerous elevations and depressions. Each elevation is called a gyrus. And you should add that to your list. G-Y-R-U-S. Gyrus. Plural, gyri. G-Y-R-I. I, I, I don't think that I have it in the study guide. Gyri. Plural, gyrus, singular. And the depressions are called sulci, S-U-L-C-I, singular, S-U-L-C-U-S, sulcus. As you can see here also, the elevations and depressions, the gyri and sulci, okay? All right, look at the ventral side of the brain, okay? This is the dorsal, this is the ventral. You can see the hindbrain and the midbrain. But other parts of forebrain are hidden, like I'm going to show you. Cerebellum. This one is called brainstem. You can see that uh, Lady Liberty, no? Statue of Liberty. Yes. What do you see here? The hindbrain, midbrain, and also forebrain. These are two thalami. Singular, thalamus. All right? You can see the midbrain, this strip here, part of midbrain that connects the hindbrain to the forebrain and this is called the cerebral peduncle. You can see the cerebral peduncle on your uh, on the last word there. Can you see the last word there? Cerebral peduncle. This is pons. This is medulla oblongata. You can also identify on this half brain and let us look here. Could you put this out? Look here. This is the pons, medulla oblongata. Here is the thalamus. Okay? Cerebellum has been cut into half. And these are 
the branching, tree-like branching of the white matter, and it collectively called arbor vitae. What is arbor vitae? Arbor meaning tree, tree of life. Don't write tree of life. Arbor vitae. Okay. Uh, oh, one thing I did not bring. Um, 